Undoubtedly, there are many advantages of shooting in RAW. Unfortunately, the color editing tools with most RAW converters and Photoshop are somewhat less than intuitive, straightforward, or easy to use. This tutorial will show you how to get the most out of your images with RAW Capture while streamlining your workflow with PixelColor's iCorrect Edit Lab Pro Photoshop plugin or iCorrect Edit Lab Pro app with Adobe Lightroom. You start by opening your image in Camera Raw in Photoshop or Lightroom if you're using the Pro app version. Then set the white balance with the white balance tool in the upper left hand corner. Next you want to check uh, to see if there are any blown out areas. Now up here we see the RGB values are all 255 which sort of indicates a blown out uh, image. So let's go to the recovery and move that back up to oh maybe around 13, 14, or 15 and click on it again 247. That's pretty good. You probably generally don't want to go beyond 248. For most images, leaving the rest of the controls at your preferred settings, um, your preferred default values, uh, provides an excellent starting point for Edit Lab Pro. Let's go to the filter and select the iCorrect Edit Lab Pro. Since Camera Raw did a pretty good job on the uh, setting the white balance of this image, we'll go directly to tab 2 to set the tonal range. Generally, I would use the smart color, which automatically clamps the two ends and sets the midpoint. Now, you can adjust these individually if you'd like by just simply moving the ends, but let's stay with the smart color. Now, tab three, we can address the exposure by adjusting the overall brightness. Maybe back off a little bit on the shadows. Highlights will leave the same. Contrast, maybe it's boosted just slightly, and the overall saturation of the image. You can always check how it looks with the original by clicking the preview button, and so far we're doing pretty well. Finally, we go to the fourth tool, which is probably the favorite tool of mine in the Edit Lab tool set, which is the Hue Selective Edit, where we can very precisely adjust uh, the various hues. Now, first thing we're going to do is take this dome. I'd like to make this dome a little bit... Uh, more saturated. Let's pull out that color a little bit. Now notice we're not affecting the sky or anything else, just the, the particular hue associated with the dome. Now we maybe even make it just slightly brighter. Now let's do the sky. Sky, I'm going to pull back on the brightness just a little bit and maybe even back off on the saturation. Here again we can compare it with the original by clicking the preview button and that really looks much better. And finally, that's basically it. should point out that there are a couple of uh, uh, sort of memory color features, as we call them. Uh, we have skin, foliage, and blue for sky. And you can also set your own. You can also make a black and white or sepia by simply clicking on a button. Uh, but that's all you need to do very quickly. And you click on the edit image, and it's automatically then returned to uh, Photoshop, and you're done. See how much faster that was than playing around with all the tools in the, either the camera raw or the levels and various tools that are within Photoshop. Edit Lab just speeds up the process to make the color right. Thank you for watching. For more information on how iCorrect Edit Lab Pro plugin or iCorrect Edit Lab Pro app can streamline your Photoshop or Lightroom color workflow, go to PictoColor's website at www.pictocolor.com.